I couldn't resist. I'm right back into it. I'm right back into it. You might have had to wait. I don't. Let's go. Here's the Sea of Tranquility. It's the most famous sea of the moon since in 1969. It is this sea that the humans first walked on the moon. Uh, the moon would have uh, been formed around the same time as the Earth, 4.5 billion years ago. One of the most plausible theories that the, is that a planet the size of Mars struck Earth. Part of the material ejected by the impact was attracted towards Earth, and the other part began to orbit around Earth. It ended up forming the moon thanks to gravitational pull. Excellent. This is these 10 craters allow you to approach the concept of gravitational acceleration. And it's funny because we actually have this like little ooh, spiral. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just dive right in. Updating space tow truck. We've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, gravitational wave beam module installed, ready to control the gravitational field. Any gravitational field. Laser Inferometer Gravitational Wave Achievement to apply to help you apply gravitational acceleration of exactly minus 10 meters per second squared, um, per second per second, like gravity, I suppose, uh, along the y axis. Use the new table in the instruction manual, it'll help you um, realize causation. Okay, this control panel doesn't do anything, we've been like that, <laughs> it's just the it's just the blueprint of the device. But okay, here we have the calculations. This seems like it's kind of... Okay, yeah, yeah, and no, it's still a little bit awkward. Look at this. We got the 10, 10, 0, 20, 50. Okay. So, what are we trying to do here? We are a car. We are going to go at... It said negative, though. This is going to be positive, isn't it? Because we're going positively along the X. We need to go positively along the X. We have six seconds and go one, two, three, four. Five, six. I suppose we can land and keep driving. And what we need to do is from zero to six seconds. I can't do anything with the gravity. This is, we're going to have to just, just, just watch this go for now. And see how it works. That's going to be minus ten meters per second per second. So we have... One second, two second, three second, four second, and we went down. That seemed incorrect, actually. Let me go back and check that. Let me go back and check that, because I'm not really sure how that worked. Skip, please. Skip, skip, skip. How did that work? What went What went on there? Um, we have this velocity of X, because we just need to arrive. But then from zero to six seconds, the gravity equals this, negative ten. So... Where do we actually come off of here? At 20? So then we go um, 10. It should be 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, but we're only here for two seconds. Because we go 5, 10, 15, 20. So we're only here for two seconds, which is 10 and 10. Okay, understood. That's what we're confusing me. Because we were there for four squares, but they're five, five each, five seconds each at the moment. Benjamin Thompson. Here is Benjamin Thompson. By analyzing how heat is propagated when drilling a cannon... He came to the conclusion that heat is not a substance, as it was thought to be at the time, but rather a vibratory motion. By demonstrating that friction generates heat, he finds a link between heat and work. Using a multitude of experiments, he brought down the caloric theory. According to that theory, heat is a fluid matter. Wow. It's weird, right? You think heat is a fluid? Heat is a fluid? That's That seems so crazy to us now. I wonder what... Uh, why anybody would ever think that? It's bizarre. On April 21st, 1972, Apollo 16 became the fifth crewed mission to land successfully on the moon. Thanks to an improved lunar module, astronauts were able to spend nearly three days on the surface of the moon. On Apollo 16, NASA aimed to better understand the composition of the moon. Apollo 16 was the first mission to land in the lunar highlands, which contained old lunar rocks, then... Uh, older lunar rocks than were seen on previous missions. The astronauts have did approximately 95 kilogram of lunar rocks. Astronaut Charlie Duke left a photo of his family on the moon, which will be completely sun bleached by now because there is no, uh, there's no protection on the moon from the sun's harmful rays. Um, which is why they say they put down the American flag 
but now it's just a white flag because there's nothing to protect it from bleaching it and that photo will be exactly the same although it's a very very nice gesture uh photo of his family on the moon super nice um let's go very very cute imagine that I left a picture of you all on the moon beautiful so we need to change the gravity here so we can do a little jump or can we start from here this is weird because we need to curve along. We need to curve along. So we have four seconds. We want to go one, two, three, four. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. One, two, three, four is not good enough. We need to go 15. If we start from here, we need to go 5, 10, 15, one second, 5, 10, 15, one second, 5, 10, 15, one second, 5, 10. Oh, wait. 10? 5, 10? 5, 10? 5, 10? 5, 10? No, we do. We... 5, 10, 5, 10, 5, 10, 5, 10. Yeah, we, we don't have enough time to reach that. We need to be at 15. So we've got 5, 10, 15. That's 1. 5, 10, 15. That's 2. 5, 10, 15. That's 3. Oh, wait. <laughs> Where are we? 0 to 55. I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I just doing the math? Why am I making the math so hard? What we should be doing is aiming to get to 60. Right? Obviously. So 15 in 4 seconds we get to 60. I don't know what I'm doing. But gravity, we actually want to start up here then I guess. So we're going to end up at 65, which is also totally fine. But we want to be at minus 5, positive 25. From 0 to 4 seconds... We need, so actually we want the gravity. If we're starting here and we're going 5, 10, 15, we actually need the gravity to go quite a lot. Every, per second, we need to go from 25 to 20, that's 45. We need to go negative 15, but that's not going to work. So we actually need to go a lot slower. We still want to start here. But if this is going to be minus 10 a second, we're going to have to go 1 second, 2 second, 3 second, 4 second. We can't do that. We don't have the time. Can I not do anything about this? 1 second, 2 second, 3 second. 1 second, 2 second, 3 second. And then at... Th whatever three seconds then we jump forward like an insane amount right like one two five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five yeah um but this needs to be a minus 15 doesn't it because this is and this needs to go five this doesn't make any sense to me it still worked but I don't think that's minus 10 though then, is it, per second? It's not minus 10, it's minus 15. I'm, how, I don't understand how that's wrong. Um, I'm going back into it because I want to understand that. What's happening here? Gravity. If... Um, table giving the... So if, if, if the, the component of initial velocity, okay. So if that is five, oh, we go from zero to 10 to 30 in three seconds, but we still, we need to go 45 in three seconds. So zero, five, 20, 45. Oh, because why? We're not messing with why. So it is 5.20.45 because it, 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 we accelerate downwards until we reach our uh, uh, maximum velocity. Okay. Our, 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 your, your peak. Your cap. Okay. Okay, got you. Got you. Okay, that's my fault. My bad. Let's go. What's it called? I'm... I'm what is it called? What is it called? What is it called, though? 
Terminal velocity. There we go. Thinking what maximum velocity, peak velocity, terminal velocity. Uh, here is Gaspard Gustave de Coriolis. He was the first to observe and describe an effect which now bears his name, the Coriolis effect. This effect explains the movement of an object in a system that is itself rotating. The Coriolis effect made a major impact on meteorology because it helps explain how hurricanes on tornadoes are formed. It also makes it possible to better describe the trajectory of a projectile by taking into account the rotation of the Earth. Awesome. Awesome. We, we're making decent progress here, I think. We can probably get these top ones wiped out. Oh, we need a little jump. We need a little jump, but we also need to break before this. Oh, we can, can we jump twice? I don't know. I don't know what we do here. This is 10 on Y, so we need to be careful. Um, zero to six seconds. We're going to go uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't do that. So we've got 5, 10, 15. We've got four seconds, five seconds, six seconds. So we should go up here. Do we need to... Wait, we're going to die off there, aren't we? Off the top. Huh. Let's just go for it. Let's go for it. We, we initial position's there. Our initial velocity needs to be 10 across here because we need to at least hit all four of them. And if we do it at 5, we'll never hit them. If we do it at 10, we're going to go too far. Mm hmm. Okay. Then... Y, zero. We don't need to be messing with that. Then Z And then at three seconds, which should be two seconds, we are going to have positive 10 on the Y. And we can, what, slow down? Velocity? Two seconds. Let's see. Should knock us up. Ah, uh, well, I've put minus on the x-axis. Jesus, genius, genius. Um, what did I do here? Uh, oh, zero. Why did I put pause? Uh, trying to like, I'm trying to like counter it out. That's why I did the negative, but it's not the delta, is it? No, we still need to go like this. We still need to go. We can just go half speed. But um, I'm trying to like count it out as if it's the delta. Oh, we can't do that. We actually can't do that. Interesting. 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 If we do it at three seconds, we go straight up in the air. What if we do it at four seconds and then we do go negative here and we end up coming back on ourselves? Five, 10, 15, 20, and we come back and we land and we go, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Genius, genius. It was kind of good that I made the mistake of going backwards so that I, I it put it in my head, you know what I mean? As, as that's an option, that's an option. Uh, here is Nicholas Leonard Sadikarno. Wow. He published at his own expense a little 118-page book which became the foundation of thermodynamics, a branch of physics that deals with heat and its propagation. He knows that mechanical energy can be transformed into heat, but that heat is not easily transformed into mechanical energy. This asymmetry is fundamental is a fundamental characteristic is a characteristic of nature and is such a little pretty boy as well. Let's go, next one. Let's go, next one. We got two jumps this time. Si eight seconds to go seven to 75. So let's just start by going 10. We can go one second. No, no, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, 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 no. This is 15. No, no, 5, 10, 15, 20. This is 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. This is 20. 
So six seconds we need to be here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 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 fine. I think that's fine. Um, so at five and then zero to eight, the gravity is the same. At we should have two of these. At two seconds, we are going to have a little jump up in the air. Um Yeah. And our velocity is going to change, but we're gonna keep it the same. We go boop. And we come back down. So one second, two second, three second, one second, two second jump, three second, four second, um, five second, six second. Oh, fine. Mm. Seven seconds, is it? No, we only have eight. Six seconds is here. Ah, this is this is this is a little bit trickier because I am worried once again about hitting hitting what with that that uh, hitting the bomb. So we go five, ten, one second, two second, three second, four second, five, six, and then this would be seven, eight, nine if we did it like that. So we'd have to go one, two. Or one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's why. We need to go here for that first one. And then at one second, then we change. So one, and then we go two, three, four, five, six. Then at six seconds, which this changed again because we're messing around with stuff. At six seconds, we have to go plus 20 and also plus five. Let's do it. One. That was that was poor. What happened there? What happened there? We didn't. Oh, we only went up five. We need to go up ten. Oh. Okay. Boom. Boom. Ah. <sighs> nice. We have fight against gravity. Fight against gravity. William, oh, whoa, what's this? Apollo 11 on July 20th, one day after my birthday, 1969. Apollo 11 became, not, not I, I'm not born in 1969. I, it's my birthday in a different year, trust me. Apollo 11 became the first mission in which humans set foot on the moon. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, the first two humans to set foot on the moon, walked on it for about two hours. They each traveled a distance of about 250 meters, staying within 100 meters of the lander. The two astronauts on the Apollo 11 mission collected roughly 21 kg of moon rocks and took several photos. They also installed a module to conduct several experiments, a device to measure the seismic activity of the moon, a dust detector, and a mirror that can reflect laser rays coming from the Earth. While setting foot on the moon, Neil Armstrong famously said, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And uh, the person who was left on Apollo 11 as it did a full trip around the dark side of the moon and before it came back and picked the, the two gents up was Michael Collins. Um, Michael Collins also, also has passed away now. Uh, absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Passed away not too long ago, unfortunately. So, yeah. Is Buzz Aldrin? I think Buzz Aldrin. I think that's it. Everybody's gone now. Um, no, Buzz, Ald Buzz Aldrin is a. Uh, he died. Neil Armstrong died in 2012. I remember I was in California at the time. But Michael Collins died aged 90. 90. And he died when? Um. It was, it was very recently, but I have to check now. I have to check. Where are we? Neil Armstrong died, yeah, 25th of August, 2012. I remember. I actually remember. We went out, and we went outside, and there was a lovely big full moon on his death. Um, and uh, we, were, we were out there. We had a... We, we cheersed him with a beer. That's when I was working, working at a really nice place in California at that time. Um, but Michael Collins died April. April of this year, 2021, age 90. Ah, oh, wow. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. 90 years older. 
But Buzz Aldrin is uh is still alive. And he is age 91. <laughs> Buzz Aldrin, the last one left. Crazy. 91 years old, eh? Well, let's move on. That's William Rowan Hamilton. He wor reworked mechanical physics into a format that now bears his name. Uh, Hamiltonian mechanics are the basis of quantum mechanics. He introduced uh, quaternions, a mathematical tool at the root of the notion of vectors, which are incredibly useful in physics. At the age of three, he knew how to read and count. At 13, he could speak 13 languages. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. No way, dude. No way. I can barely speak one. I, 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 I can speak decent Spanish. I have been living in Mexico a long enough time now, but 13 at 13. That just seems, that seems insane. That seems unbelievable. Must have had a giant head to house all of that information. Interesting. <laughs> what I see here is two jumps. What I see here is two jumps. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fine. And now only twelve seconds. We need 12 seconds. Okay. So we can change velocity three times. We have an initial velocity. We are going to start... Oh, if we start here, we actually could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's what we're doing. So we are starting at positive uh, 10 on the x-axis. We are moving at 10 on the x-axis and then at two one second we're gonna have a nice little jump and we are going to continue to move at 10 so we're gonna go from here we're gonna go one second that one second we go two second three second where no i can't do that can i One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. How do I get this last one? Because now I'm thinking, do we actually do the jump from here instead? Let's try it. Let's try it from here instead. We go from here. At zero seconds, we can't do that. So, we do move at 10, and then at one second when we're here, we have a jump of 30. Wait, 10, 20, 30, 40. We can't do that. I want to see how this works. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. So, whoa. If you right click, it sends it all the way to the other side. That's crazy. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh, oh, never mind. Anyway, we start at this, zero. And then we move here in one second. Then at one second, we are going to move at plus five. And in one, two, three, four seconds later, we want to be at 20. We want to be at 20. So... If we need to be at 20 in four seconds... We can do that in two seconds. So we can go one, two. Is that correct? Let, let's try this then. In that case, at two seconds, we go here. 
And then we go one, two. And we shoot up to 20. Yeah. And then, but then at A, can we not get shot back over here? No, no, shut up you. Then at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then we get negatively nine, and then we have like 10, 11, 12, basically. We want to get like shot up here. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. So we want to go to like plus 15 and negative, uh, what is that? One, two, three. So negative 15. Let's try this out. Boom! Go collect those. Fall back down. Have a little bit of a stroll along here. And then, bang! Get knocked all the way back. The gravitational pull killed us. We need to get higher. From here to here. 55 to 30. That's 25 difference. We need to do that in two seconds. 25 difference? Oh, no, we're trying to go to 25, though. So that's a 30 difference, which is why I did this. But we're going to be in the air. One, two, three, one, two. No. One, two, three. One, two, three. Is what I was hoping was going to happen. Why didn't that happen? Let's figure it out. We don't get high enough. We're trying to go up to here, but we only get to here. We only get to 10. In, um, in how long? Nine seconds. 10 seconds. In one second, we only go up to 10. Because we get the minus 10. Is that why? Because when we do it here... From two to three to four, we put in positive 20 and we go up in two seconds. Right? And then we start coming back down. So we have two seconds of uplift. And here, because we're going nine to ten, we only have one second and we only get... We Actually, it's kind of a bit of a, a peak is over here instead. I'm not sure why, but I think oh, we just need to go higher. It's having a weird effect on his on his x axes. Why is it absolutely demolishing us? Why is it going so crazy? It's doing something to his x-axis as well. No. No, no, no. We go minus 10. Let's see. And we're going to have to figure this out backwards. Pretty sure this is the correct way to do this level. Like what we're doing here. Still going too high. And now we go to 15. At negative 10. Okay. We got negative 10, negative 10. But that's... that's. But why? One second. No, no, no. I, I've, we've got it, I know. But no! No, take me back! Take me back! Now I'm going to have to put, input this real quick again. We start where we are. We go 10. After two seconds, we go positive 5, positive 20. And then after nine seconds, we go negative 10 and positive 20. 
So we go negative 10, 5, 10, but we actually end up going here. We end up going an extra 10 away, even though it's only... One second. Bang. We're gonna we're gonna pause it before it ends and then rewind. Oh no, we did it wrong. I don't know why we did that again. Come on, fast forward. Come on, come on, we don't have time for this. We need to figure stuff out. We don't have time for this nonsense. Right, so we did it. So now we can see on the clock what where we are. So from here. I'm trying to figure out the gravitational wave beam generator, right? Um, component of time displacement, yes. And this is component of initial velocity, component of gravitational acceleration, which is, you know, it's, it's going to always be 10 minus 10 right now. And time traveling. Okay. So, um, if we are going, if we are, our Y is at, Positive 20. And we are in the air for... We are going to be with the first second at 15, the second second at 20, the third second at 15, and then back to zero. Perfect. If we are here... Um, and it's negative... Why wow, we need to figure out it's negative 15? Because we're going positive 10 in one second... And then 10 still again, the next, and then zero. So we actually are cutting through this in three seconds. That's why we that's why we're weird to figure it out. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go with that. It's a little strange. It's a little strange. We're getting there though. But we're still going 10, 15. So we are still doing it in three seconds. This is still happening over three seconds. Okay, okay, okay. We've got it. We've got it. We've got it. We can use the graph. And we're going to use the graph on this next one, which I'm going to go to right away. Because we don't have much time left in this. Oh, we actually have ages left in this video. Never mind. I'm a liar. Ten seconds. One, two, three. No. One, two, three. Can we change the gravity? No. Because this will be four. No. Huh. Are we trying to have like a gravity boost here and then, and then another jump? We actually are, right? Okay. So we're trying to do like a jump onto a jump. So if we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, so we're not we're not do we don't have to go ten across. Initial position. Should stay where we are for now. At initial velocity. Going forward at five. One, two, three, four. At three seconds. At two seconds. We continue at five and we have a little bump in the air. Now, if we're going five in one second, the bump in the air is back to zero. We need to be going at 10 to be one second up here. But then at two seconds, we're back at zero. And then we're minus 15, which is perfect. So we've got one second, two second, three second, four second, five second, six second, and then we've got four seconds to get over here. So like one, one, two, three, four. I, mm, maybe what we should actually do then is is start there and do this at one second. Yeah. No, oh, that's at one second. Go back to there. One second we do this, little bump. We end there, and then... So that's one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds. At four seconds, we start playing. 
Four seconds. No, one second for you. Four seconds for you. I can't do that. It's got to be a five. We'll just start back where we were then. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, no, no. We start here. And we go one, two, three, four, five. Then at five seconds, we have the bump. But this bump's weird. Hmm. This is going to be really strange. Let's just do this first part first. I think we've cracked it pretty simply. Four, five. So there we are. We've done that one. Then at five seconds, we need to be moving ten a time. One, two, three, four. Hmm. One, two, three, four. I don't know. I don't know, mate. This is a confusing one. Let's grab it. I don't know what we're doing here. So, we need to be in one second, we need to be plus 10. That's 15. Then we need to be plus 10 again. But then it's going to put us back to zero. It's like we need we need like two bumps there. So huh. I feel like we have to start here and immediately start with this bump upwards. And then we go one second, two second, three second, and then at four seconds. We have the second bump, which goes it's the 15 one. So four seconds, we go 15 and 10. And then that's uh, that goes to one second, two seconds. And then at two seconds later, which is six, then we need to go from zero minus five to 10. So we need to go 15 up and then we need to go 20, 15, 20, 15, zero. So then we go 20. And we're still going 10. Maybe at that point then we go 5? Yeah. Let's try this. I think we figured this out. Um, boop. Um, boop. I love that little double hop. That's really satisfying. Really satisfying. When it's in the air, boom. Boom. I love how they shoot in from the sides. Uh, it feels really good. Okay, let's uh, let's do another one, then we'll read up on the sinus and we'll do the, the, the tougher ones of this world. Not of this world, actually, just of this this little part of it. All right. The, the funny thing is the math now, the actual graphing is a little bit easier, but we've got to actually figure out how do we get all the batteries with the, the, the allotted time that we've got as well um, is, is a lot of the um, the concern now. We have three velocity changes. Honestly, that seems like one, two, three. We have five seconds. Not good. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Mm. Okay. So, let's see, positive 10, then negative 10. Positive 10, negative 10. That's zero, negative 10. Hmm. I start from here, and I go positive 10, and then we go to negative 10 afterwards. This would be 10, 10, zero, negative 20 now. That'll be 10, 10, 0, and then negative 20. We would actually hit this. Okay. And that would be in four seconds, which is not good. What if we just go backwards? What's this? We can't. That's... 50 on the X. 
What if I jump here and then get knocked here and then knocked up here? Does that seem crazy? What if I start here at 35 uh, minus 20? And from there... Oh, no, wait. We have to start with this weird initial velocity. This is, this is what I'm talking about. We have to start with just an X velocity. That's crazy. Although, in one second... No, the gravity will just destroy us. All right, all right. We go. We start on minus 20, 20. 20 minus 20. And we got 15. So we start to get here the next second. Then at one second, we have a bump up to here, which is positive 5, which is this. Positive 5, which is that. That's 10. I can't change any of the Ys. I can't, the Y doesn't change. Only X changes. Which leads me to believe I have to go here to here to here to here to here. All right, then. In that case, we start here at positive 10. Um, positive 10. And 0 in 2 seconds, we're going to be at minus 20. Which is here. So, in 2 seconds, we're going to move minus 5 because we want to be positive 10 by that point. Then we're going to be minus 45. Which is death. I'm so confused. We have five here. Five here. We're already here. Okay. And then at two seconds, we're trying to... We, we would, like, land. Oh. I would be here. And within a single second. Because this is... This is... Zero. So then we'd be minus five and we'd be minus 20 from plus 10. Then we'd be minus 45. <laughs> Can I not change the X, 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 the Y at all anywhere? This is so confusing to me. Let's just play this. We should get this and this. And we're falling. Because I changed it to zero. But we don't get any bumps ever. This is what's confusing to me. Because then going down another five, yeah, that's not going to happen. That's just not going to happen. We go down 45. Huh. Five, twenty. Could go five, twenty. It's just death. This is 35. This is, the whole thing goes to a maximum of 35. It means I need to go to a maximum of 30. And I can't come I can't control that. It has to be zero. So it has to be 5, 20, 45. So even at two seconds, which is, you know, it's it's one, two. 
of going like that. Even if I go then like jump 30 forward in one second, I'm already way down here. Yeah, but then I'm off. Oh, but I could just knock myself back at three seconds. I could knock myself back 25. Bang. Bang. Oops, 20. Uh, excuse me. Oh, I went back to 30 that time. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. 15. Bang. Bang. 15 on the 35. I mean, but I understand, I guess. Ah, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. It's because we are still resetting the Y velocity to zero. We're not not affecting it. It's not that we're not affecting it. It's that we're actually resetting it to zero. So we still only went minus five. And then when we hit self again, we only went minus five again. Ah, I'm overcomplicating it in my own head. Just like silly boy. Just a silly, silly boy. Um, here is Julius Robert von Mayer. He was one of the first to state the principle of conservation of energy, which we now call the first principle of thermodynamics. Uh, he found a new relationship linked to ideal gases, which now bears his name. Um, okay. Uh, he found a new relationship. Blah, blah, blah. A feud had reportedly arisen between him and James Prescott Jewell over the authorship of the principle of the energy conversion. The quarrel is said to have largely contributed to Von Mayer's suicide attempt in 1850. Very sad. We do call any, like a measure of energy jewels, right? So I guess we know who won that fight. Here is James Prescott Jewell. He's an amateur scientist, but very precise and rigorous experimenter. He demonstrated the principle of conservation of mechanical energy. He understood that there is a link between work and energy. The unit of energy, the jewel, was named in his honor. There you go. Uh, he owned one of the largest breweries in Manchester. Oh, yeah, you Manchester lads raise up. Here's Leon Foucault. I'm not from Manchester. I'm from Bradford. That's like... It's nearby, though. Like an hour away. Here is Leon Foucault. Uh, with a pendulum, which now bears his name. Um, he proved that the Earth rotates on its own axes. The pendulum was 67 meters long. Jesus. And weighed 28 kilograms. In 1862, he also measured with great precision for the first time the speed of light at 298,000 plus or give 500 kilometers a second. Okay. Uh, okay. 6.8. That's weird. It kind of, instead of spiraling, it goes zigzags down. All right, we got two jumps. We have one jump, we have two jump. Perfect. So, we have 10, 11 seconds. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, we just move at a constant pace. And we are going to move 1, 2, 3. And then at 3, we want to go up 10, 10. So, 15. Up, up, up. 15. And then it's going to be back to 0 here. So it's going to be boom, boom, boom. That's not going to be good enough, is it? So we actually need to increase the speed of this as well. So from... Do we? Let's see. Because then that's going to be zero and then negative 20, which is actually here anyway. And then another jump at... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven seconds. We need to be going in two seconds. We need to be going plus 25. Which we can't do. Which we can't do. Which leads me to believe... What I actually need to do is jump and then jump and then like jump again. If 
5, 10, 15. Oh, it's only 15 up from here, though. What am I talking about? It's minus 20. It's 15. It's not minus 25. It's 15. It's 15. Why am I such an idiot? It's 15. In one second, we can do 20. In one second. That's too That's too fast, though. This is going to get us killed anyway, and I think we might miss this. Uh, excuse me. Wrong. <laughs> Incredibly wrong. Still incredibly wrong. What is going on? Why is it going 15? Why did I... I didn't... Um, why did it start us here when we want to start at zero? At seven seconds. We only get the one jump. Oh... Oh, so we actually do need to start at 15 minus 5, and we need the jump here, which is going to be, that's going to be plus 15, and plus 5, so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, which is going to be 15 in the air. Um... Which is 20, so uh, plus 20 and negative 50. At 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That didn't go high enough. Why not? Wasn't that plus 15? To go 10, 10 in one second? Wasn't that... Hey, no, no, no. Hey, you, you hold your horses, you little git. Um, we're starting here. We got 5. Oh, 5, 10, 15. Not 10, 10. Not 10, 10. If it's 10, 10, we want it to be from 0. So we actually need to go 15, 15, which doesn't work. So what do we do there? What we could do... Is that literally just start from there, right? I hate that. I hate that. I actually don't think that's useful at all. We actually just start at zero. And immediately, boom, up to here. Land, go back. And then if we can make move this faster, we can land back on here to end. And we can grab this and this and this on the way. Because I think this is 15 then this is 20. Which is actually 20. That's perfect. We'll grab this. So we'll go up here, up here, miss this land. Go over here and then boom... Boom. Who's with me? Who's with me? Then 9, 10, 11, 12. Who's with me? Who's with me? It's going to collect that one anyway, though, right? That's a shame. I want to collect it on the way back for fun. Ooh. Wait a minute. We only have 11 seconds. Oh, gosh darn it. Oh, gosh darn it. In that case, that's that's not very good then. What if instead we go... Plus five, zero. What if we start here and then we go here, 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 here. We can't do that. Here, here, here. The initial position, then we have a jump. Jump. We start here. We jump. Or we start here and we jump. And then we jump. I'm a genius. <laughs> we start here. We start at the end. No, we can't start at the end because that's positive 60. You madman. Madman. We jump. We drive. We jump. That's 5, 10, 15, 20. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <coughs> That's eleven. So but it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nah. Nah 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 nah. That's not gonna work. We're already going back as fast as we can in the y in, in not in the X direction, in the Y direction. We could go back a little faster, maybe. 
But wouldn't we be like... Let's just see. We're going to be too far away. We're going to be over here. We're going to shoot off at too much of an angle. Obviously. Bam! Kind of works, though. Okay. See, this is, this is the thing. We know how the gravity works. We've got that down. Now we're trying to piece together the answer by filling in the missing gaps because we're, we're limited by what we have, right? We only have two jumps available and an initial position. If we could start our initial position here, that would be okay, but then we're going to instantly start falling. So we can't do that. We, what if we jump here and then jump here? But that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You can't jump up 30. That's impossible. If we start here, that's plus 15 and then plus 15, which also is impossible. If we start here and do the 10, 10, and then down here is absolutely perfect, to be honest. The only problem is then getting back to this one is seems to be largely impossible also. Oh, but you know what? No. No, ignore me. I was going to say, what if we're here and we jump here and then jump down here? But then we're going to miss this one as well. Hmm. What if we jump here? Do that, because that's plus 15. I'm thinking if we jumped here and then just jumped here again, but we jump here, then here, but we can't start here. We can't jump this way. Um, the initial position is hurting us a little bit. Huh. So if we start here, we go one, two, and we go like three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like eleven, yeah. We just don't have anything else available to us. It's just the order that we need to do it in. That's all we need to figure out. The order. Like, even if we started here and went jump to here and then jumped to here, it, it wouldn't work because then we need to go backwards. We can't do that. We could start moving here. Oh, you know what? No, because we've, we've got to start on a jump or we only get one jump. If we don't start on a jump, we only get one jump. So that's 10, 10, 0. 10, 10, 0 minus 20. Too perfect. It's too perfect not to, not to do this. Ha, huh, it's this, this one's the tricky one. I can get the rest. How do I get you, you little bugger? Let's think of all... I mean, the thing is, we can start from pretty much anywhere because we, we've, we've already proven that you can start in, you know, on a sky. We don't need to start on this little platform. What we need to do is somehow work backwards. We need to work backwards. We have two jumps. One, two. We can't make this jump because we can't jump up. We can jump up 15, but then the next one is in two seconds, it's 20. So that would be here, and then 20 will be way off. So it doesn't make any sense. Um, so that doesn't work. We started here, and we can land here, and then driven along and jump back. We don't have the time. We could be going here. Jumping. 
and then jumping, but once again, then it's like uh, we can't move back to get this one. Hmm. One, two, three, one, two, three. No. This needs to go plus 15 in two seconds. If we can do it in one second. Plus 15, plus 15, plus 20. And then it goes down to zero, the next one. That goes back to 15. Plus 15, 20, 15, and then zero. Yeah. So if we're here, we can go plus 15, plus 20, plus 15, zero. But that requires us landing here. So we we can do this first jump and then drive and do this second jump, but we miss out on this one. Huh. If I do nothing, I go to... In one second at five, actually, that doesn't matter. Okay, so we can actually start here and then go negative ten. And then negative 30. Oh, that's that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Let's go. Uh, not initial velocity, sorry. Initial start position. Our initial velocity is going to be 5. And then this is also going to be 5. And then we're going to go 0, minus 10, minus 30. So that's the first one. Then we drive. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 <clears throat> so we need to go in one second we need to be back up 15 and then 20 then 15 15 and then 1 2 3 20 1 2 3 15 so yeah that's so we were correct we just needed to start here instead and i was just thinking we just can't do that you can't just like jump across and go down but actually we can we have this zero here perfectly in place for us for one second so we can kind of wildy coyote our way across for one second you're allowed to just keep moving gravity doesn't affect you as you've seen in looney tunes unless you look down and after one second we're gonna look down and start falling and we pull out this little sign that says like help me all right so that's going to be minus 15 and it's going to be positive 20. All right, so this should be the win. Actually, that needs to be eight, doesn't it? So that's not going to be the win. This is going to be the win. Yeah, we do. We get that little hop at the beginning because we do. It's it's not because it's zero. It's because we have plus five on the Y, so we just have a little hop. That was uh, that was so silly of me. I didn't. I just didn't even think to look because I'm like, well, you can't stay in the air, but we do actually have just one little hop to stay on the same uh, x-axis that was so 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 silly um, what a waste of time but we did it on september 11th 1967 it's almost september 11th now or 1967 surveyor 5 was the third lander in the surveyor series to land smoothly on the surface of the moon despite despite a problem with one of its tanks losing helium a correction of the trajectory had to be made in mid-flight in order to avoid crashing into the moon thanks to its surface analyzer surveyor 5 was the first mission which made it possible to know the exact composition of the lunar soil the results indicated that the lunar soil is similar to volcanic rock that can be found on earth surveyor 5 took nearly 20,000 photos of the moon like this photo of its foot which having slipped on the ground created a trench uh oh <laughs> Oh no. Here we are. Here is Hermann von Helmholtz. He states in a modern way the principle of energy converse, uh, conversation. Conservation V plus K equals constant. In other words, the potential energy plus the kinetic energy is a constant if the energy is conversed. Uh, conversed. Okay. Conversed is conversed, conserved. Taking an interest in sound, light, and electricity, he found that the energy involved in these phenomena can change shape, but is always conserved. He was a doctor before he was a physicist. Smart boy. Let's try and do these last two. I know this video has been going on a little bit long, but let's try and do these last two real quick. We are getting better. Um, how many jumps do we have? We have three jumps this time, so we can go one, two, one, two, three. Is how I see this. Okay. So we start up here. We're going to go plus 10, plus 30. Then we are going to fall 
10 minus 10 and then minus 30 so this is another 15 no this is actually 25 this is 40 so we're actually not going to get there one second then 10 and 30 we need to fall 40 we need to fall 40 we're not going to fall 40 we can we can't fall 45 even we can go 0, 10, 30, which should be, you know, 0, 10, 30. That would get it here. But then we wouldn't collect this one. Unless 0 minus 10 minus 30. So if we're here, we need minus 15. Do we have a minus 15? We have minus 15, then a minus 40. Oh, perfect. So minus 15, minus 40. So we need to be going at minus 10. Um, we're starting there. We need to be going at minus 10 and we are going to go here. So we go one second, two second, and then after two seconds, we are going to jump. We need to jump 5, 10, 15, and then 20, then 15, which we know is over here, 15, 20, 15. So we're going to jump and go 20 in the other direction. Um, and we're going to start moving twice as fast on the x-axis as well. And then once we, after one, two, three seconds... We can't do that three. Oh no, wait, one have three seconds after the two seconds. So we got one, two, three, four, five. And then here we want to fall five. And then we want to fall fifteen. So we fall five, and then we fall five, ten, fifteen. Which I assume, you know, twenty is also fine to fall. Five we basically are zero. And minus five. There we go. Hey yo! Boom! Ba boom! Uh, boom! First try. Look at that. See, we're getting better. We know what we're doing now. We just got—you've got to find the jumps. That's all it is. The actual calculation stuff has been very easy for the gravity so far. Um, so far, this is Lord Kelvin. He proposed the concept of an absolute temperature scale, which now bears his name, Kelvin. Nothing in the universe is colder than zero Kelvin. Yes, it is zero. That actually means zero instead of zero Celsius or zero Fahrenheit, which mean vastly different things um, and are incredibly... I mean, obviously Celsius is still good. Zero is freezing temperature of water, hundreds boiling temperature of water. Uh, and then there's Fahrenheit, which is just pure garbage. Just what is Fahrenheit? Nothing in the universe is colder than zero Kelvin. He made an important contribution to the study of thermodynamics by stating second law. This describes the way in which the heat exchanges, uh, the heat in which the heat exchanges of a system take place. He also studied the diffusion of gas and designed a heat pump. He contributed to the ambitious project of laying the first electric cables crossing the Atlantic in order to facilitate communication between America and Europe. He determined the age of the Earth by taking into account the heat dissipated by the planet's gravitational contraction. He believed that in his day, practically all of physics was known. This was before relatively, relativity and quantum physics. Oops. Uh, his real name is William Thompson, but he changed it uh, when he was knighted by Queen Victoria in 1866 to Lord Kelvin. Very cool. So, I mean, imagine if he hadn't have changed it. would have been calling it Zero Thomas. Or Z <laughs> William Thompson, sorry. We'd be calling it Zero Thompson. Zero Thompson? Nah, Zero Kelvin's way cooler. Um, this guy... This guy, I mean, fantastic. But uh, nothing can get colder than zero Kelvin. You guys, if you're interested in that stuff, you need to look at some videos of what happens when any kind of matter approaches absolute zero, zero Kelvin. Because you can't get there, but you can get close enough. And things start to act super weird. No kind of matter seems to act like it should. Liquid is 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 seeping through glass and it goes, it just gets super bizarre. It gets into the world of quantum physics and it just, everything just starts acting like crazy. It's really funny to watch. Um, very, very weird to watch. Last one and then we're going to call it. Is that another video I'm going to have to add to the bottom here? Um, approaching zero Kelvin. Approaching, I'll, you'll find the video below. Zero Kelvin. 
I'm going to have to add that video as well. Really funny. Weird, cool experiment. Oh, dear. We have one jump. We have two jump. We have three jump. We have four jumps. So, we can go one, two, three, four. That's how I see it. And we can go plus 20. Can you go plus 20? He can go plus 20. He can go plus 20. So, it feels like we should start here and then have one jump. Two jump. Three jump. And then that's it. Feels like that to me. So let's go minus 25. Positive 5. And we're going to wait. How long does it take to go? Minus 20. It takes 2 seconds. So we are going to wait for 2 seconds. Then at 2 seconds, we are going to jump here plus 5. Which is a uh, 10. And we're going to move 15, because we can go one, so one second, two second, three second, four second. Then we're going to go five seconds, and then at five seconds, we're going to jump again. We're going to jump, we need to jump to, um, where are we here? Minus 15, yep, to zero, so we need to jump 15. And then to 20, then to 15 again, so we know what that is. It's plus 20, bop, 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 and each one of those is 10, so 10 on the X, so that's, one second, two second, three second, four second, five second, six second, seven second, eight second, and we have nine second, we have ten seconds. So we jump back from here. We need to go once again plus five, which is ten. So we are gonna We are gonna jump once, jump twice, jump three times, and this is at um uh, eight seconds, I believe it was. Eight, nine, ten, yep. Um and that is going to be positive 10 and negative 15. Um, so this first one, this first one's a little bit of a trick because we don't want to do anything. We want to just fall very nicely, boop. And we're driving along and boop. And again, boom. And we missed it because I, I didn't go far enough. I needed to go 20 because that's 50 to 10. We need to go 25 actually. Oh my god, 25, boom, boom, there we go, fixed it. First try, <laughs> first try, miscalculations, don't count. Oh, that was so bad, come on, let's go. And what am I doing now? One second, 25, 20, obviously 20, I'm trying to go from my, I'm trying to get a difference of 40. Basic math, what are you doing, come on. And more than anything, I'm I'm my own worst enemy. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know exactly what I'm trying to accomplish. And then sometimes you just click a button twice instead of once and that's it. Uh run ruined, even though you're just waiting for it to happen, basically. You know what's you know what's gonna unfold. But we're done. We're done. There are three more here. I'm tempted to just jump on them right now, make this one a bit of a uh, more of a video. These three creators allow you to approach the concept of anti-gravity. Uh maybe we will jump into them. Henry Juan Carré, Henry Juan Carré, uh, he was uh, interested in the three-body problem, the calculations allowing one to predict the stability of celestial orbits, for example, of the sun, the earth, and the moon. His work uh, is a precursor to the theory of chaos, which was developed in the 1970s. In 1902, he published a work read by a certain Albert Einstein, the content of which served as a forerunner of special relativity. He is considered to be the last mathematician who had a complete knowledge of mathematics at the time, after that, mathematics became so specialized that no one could be an expert in all the sub-branches of mathematics anymore. Anti-gravitational acceleration. I'm, I'm, I'm a believer. We're going to refuel with some brain juice. Some nice, cool water. It's not cool anymore, but it was at one point. A new chai is available. Hey yo, positive gravity. Look at all these charts for the last area. You've got to be kidding me. This area is going to break. It's going to kill us. It's the end of us. This seems like we're going to go up here and then, I don't know. We can change it again. So we want to go one, like from here. Zero to three seconds. We've got five seconds, so we go one, two, three, four, five. So we actually want to start at positive ten. And if we have positive acceleration, we want we we'll put acceleration, gravitation, we want plus five. Then we want plus fifteen. Plus five. 
there's not plus 5 plus 15. We're going to go plus 5. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is this is getting crazy. Our gravitational acceleration is getting crazy. This um anti-gravity, but it's but why can we affect this in between as well? I know we want to go from minus to negative from minus to negative, from positive to negative, but all the in-betweens as well. Do we actually need that? Anyway, we're trying to go from five to to 15. 5 to 15. So, if we do 5 to 20, that'll be here, but that'll get that'll get here then. Let's try and do this. We go here, and we have positive x, 0 y, and um, 520, because we're at negative gravity, negative grav. wait, 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 5, 0, negative 10, no, 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 0, what's our, what's our gravity going to be? Anti-gravity is 5, 10, this, this is at 10, plus 10. So for three seconds, that's going to be one, two. So we actually, we don't want that because at three seconds, we're dead. So we want it to be two seconds, one second, two seconds. We're going to be up here. We're going to be up here, man. And then at two seconds, we're going to be moving at this speed instead. So we're at one second, two seconds, three, four, five seconds. But then... Wait, that's five to 20. Yeah, it is 15. I want to go 5.15. In two seconds getting to 20. But we actually... Oh, wait! 5 and then to 20. It's not a difference. It is it is going from 5 to 20. What am I doing? And then we'll just call gravity zero. <laughs> and we'll just speed along. How about that? So we were just correct. I was just being a fool. And then we'll go straight along and, and collect it. Easy. Easy. No, it's not a difference. It's not 5 and then from 5 another 20. It's 5 and then 20. From the bottom. Silly boy. Here is Konstantin Tsiolkovsky, a true harbinger of the space age. He proposed an equation which now bears his name and which links the variation in speed that a rocket can undergo depending on the mass it must lose in fuel. Rocket science. On Earth, his equations show more than 85% of a rocket's mass must be fuel for it to be able to reach orbit. This is what makes space travel travel so difficult and polluting. His deafness removed him from mainstream school curriculum and he learned mathematics and physics completely on his own. Wow, what the hell? On his own entirely? That is nonsense. That is insane. This level is harder than the next one, which is weird because this, this is actually the next level here. So, we can... Change gravity twice. We can change gravity twice. This is strange. Because it looks like we should be going here and then boing up here, which would be, you know, we're, we're on zero. This is going to 25, then to 40, then to 45, um, which doesn't exist here. We can't go to 25. To 40, it goes to 60. So that's, that's not a thing that exists. <laughs> All right. Instead, what if we go minus 5, minus 15? Um, minus 5, minus 20. That also doesn't seem to work. So what if we start here? And we move here, anti-gravity, and we like hit here. Um, can we do that? I want to basically go here and then go back here. 
and then start coming down here. All right, I'm going to try this. Let me just, let me start putting in numbers. We need to start, I, I start clearing my head out a little bit when we put in some numbers. So we want to be positive 25, negative 15. Our velocity initially, we actually want for one, two, three seconds. We want to go from five, we want to go five, then we want 15, and then we want 40. Five, 15, 40, is that possible? We've got 15, 40. We got 1540. The five before it doesn't seem likely. Fifteen forty. Which is fifteen forty. From here to here and here back to here. Because what I was thinking is we have an initial velocity. So if we go here, 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 we go one, two, three, and then we knock ourselves back here, and then we change the gravity and knock ourselves this way. I feel like that's that's how we do it, because that's 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. So this one here should be minus 15, and this is one second, two second, three second, four second, five seconds. This is one, two, three, four, maybe. Which would be five... 20. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 5, 20, 45, 80. 45, no. We want 60. 25, 60. Huh. Huh. I'm going to start putting some numbers. We're going to work backwards. I think this is the kind of the way to go. I want to try it. So that's what we're going to try. So we work backwards. We go minus 15 for, this is 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. So at 4 seconds, we do this. And um, at 4 seconds, the gravity also becomes minus 5, then it's minus 20, and then it's minus 45, basically. Um, minus 5, minus 20, minus, yeah, yeah, so 0. So zero, that's going to be negative. So this is perfect. These last bits are perfect. Now we've got to get up here by four seconds, which is from zero to four seconds. We want it to be um, the gravity to be positive. So we want anti-gravity. Um, and then at one, two seconds, yeah, we want to go positively five into the y into the x and we want to go so and zero on this because we were hoping this is going to take us there on its own kind of thing with the gravity but if we do need a little boost maybe we can hit it up as well so we're going from zero to five zero to twenty so five twenty means zero on y so that's zero on y here but we are going to go minus so we're starting here we go minus five um, initial velocity. So we go one second, two second. Then we go positive five, which is like um, three second, four second. And in the fourth second, we need 45 plus negative 15. We need, um, we need 60 in four seconds, which is here. That doesn't work though. That doesn't work because we need the 5 and the 20. And then the 45. 5, 20, 40, 5, 20. 45 is, and then that's what, 80? But we need 60. So can we actually, I know this sounds weird. Can we actually hit this back down? Like, if I do minus 20, does that like really affect it? Let me see. Oh, and then, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, this is the timing again. We'd go there after zero to four seconds, two seconds, right? At two seconds, it hits us here. No. No. No, no, no. I don't want to do that right now. I don't want, I want, at two seconds, I want to be going the opposite direction. Wait a second. Hmm. 
No. One second. Let's just look. One. Two. Three. Why were we only at... Oh, because we'd reset it again. I always forget about the reset. It resets it to zero if I don't put anything in. So at two seconds. So we actually need to go from five. We need to go to 40 in, in two seconds, which is plus 10. Why am I so, why am I so bad at that? I, mean, I keep forgetting that it resets it to zero, not that it doesn't affect it anymore. So we're actually totally fine. We've already completed this. Yeah, this is done. Very good work. Very good work. The 75 nearest star from Earth is 2MASS space J2340201010 plus, like an actual plus sign, 4631110. 75 levels completed. Hells yeah. Hells yeah. Albert Einstein. Who's that guy? Here is Albert Einstein. By proposing that the speed of light be a constant, regardless of the situation, um, he revolutionized our understanding, understanding of space and time we held up to that point. The consequences of this constant led him to propose a new theory called special relativity in 1905. This theory suggests that depending on the speed of one observer relative to another, time can expand and lengths can contract. Uh, then in 1915, he proposed general relativity, a theory that encompasses and surpasses Newton's theory of universal gravitation. Um, with general relativity, gravity is explained because the mass of an object distorts and curves space-time, which I'm pretty sure was tested very recently and proved to also be, like, true again. Like, he always is <laughs> correct. With general relativity and the curvature of space-time, Euclid's traditional geometry no longer applies. It had to be rethought. Uh, more than a hundred for more than a hundred years, this theory has often been verified experimentally without ever being disproven. Moreover, in order for GPS, the satellite tracking system, to work properly, the effects of time of special relativity and general relativity must be taken into account. He is one of the most important scientists in the history of science. In addition to having developed special general and general relativity, he laid the groundwork for quantum, quantum mechanics and wave particle duality of light and particles. It's funny because you think that he's just some scientist and he's just all day he's got in his, he's got, you know, he's got his microscope and he's scribbling his notes and he's making calculations but actually uh he was a genius in a lot of different areas he, he did all sorts of crazy stuff in biology and about the rainfall of certain areas and, and and average rainfalls and stuff like the measurements of just everything he was great at everything like an absolute just just insanely smart person uh he just clicked with the universe really um, and he said, God does not play dice with the universe, so he knew something we didn't. Uh, Luna 21 was the second probe to deploy a small vehicle controlled from Earth to the surface of the moon. This vehicle was called Luckenhod Hod 2, landed on the moon on January 15th, 1973. One of its main objectives was to determine if any astronomical observations uh, from the moon would be possible. Lunok Hod 2 was a revised version of Lunok Hod 1 the first lunar vehicle to be remotely piloted from Earth. It ran for four months and drove about 37 kilometers like Lunar Cod 1. It was controlled in real time. Well, in real time, but with obviously a delay from whatever it takes for the signal to reach the moon. Um, by a small team on Earth, it could travel up to two kilometers an hour. It was powered by a solar panel and equipped by a radioactive heat source, which allowed the vehicle to stay warm during the night. Lunacod 3 had camera, three ca uh, television quality cameras, four panoramic cameras, several instruments for testing the mechanical properties of the soil, a device that could study x-rays emitted by um, emitted B sun by the sun, a device that could measure the intensity of visible and ultraviolet light, a device that can measure the magnetic field, and much more. Last level of the Creator 6, which we've done today in this one video, although it is an extended long video, which is fine. I see with one jump, we got two jumps. Uh, let me look at this. We actually, because we've got, we can change gravity twice. So, so, here, we want anti-gravity change here, right? And then we, and we want to get hit the last time here to here. So let's work backwards once again. So we've got 10 seconds. So if we go, at one, two, let's say this last one are two. So at eight seconds, what we actually want to do is go negative 15x 
and positive 10y with normal gravity. Although we won't have normal gravity, will we? We'll have anti-gravity. So, what does anti-gravity look like? We go up by 5 anyway at 0 and then we go 10. No. Oh. So we want real gravity at that point and anti-gravity here. So we won. Can we can we start here? Fall and then jump. Wait. So we need gravity to act normal at first, and then we need gravity to be opposite. And we need gravity to be opposite when we like here. Or here, I suppose. So gravity is going to be normal. Maybe we should work from the beginning because this is a little confusing. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's how many seconds we have exactly. So um, minus ten here. Minus ten. That's from a fall in one second. So if I start here and I go here, that's minus 10. But 10, 10. Is like this, right? So we could have anti-gravity from straight away. And we could have just one jump here and it'll bring us back up and then another jump. I think that's what we do. So we have, we actually have negative gravity here at the beginning, even though it looks like we wouldn't. We have negative gravity. So, not uh, anti-gravity, should I say. And then here we have normal gravity. Because this normal gravity, and then we have the plus 10, so that's going to bounce us back. So that's 8 seconds, and this is also going to be 8 seconds. And then from 0 to 8 seconds, we're going to have normal gravity. So we're going to start at 10, 10. We are going to jump which is this, we want the 10, 10. So in one second, 15 Y. Um, and we're going to move here. So we are going to move, we're going to start here and we're going to go 10, 10, 0. 10, 10, 0. And then one, two, in three seconds, we are going to jump again and we need to go from 0, we want 15 and then 20 and then 15 again. So 15, 20, 15 is positive. 20 and we're going to be moving a little bit faster that time and that's it basically um i um what am i doing oh well first what is this initial grab and this initial velocity this needs to be opposite because we've got anti-gravity boop and boop and we get all the way up to here, and gravity changes, and done. Another easy one, really, another easy one. Uh, we crushed gravity. Gravity is like, done, dust, under my feet. We understand gravity 100%, <laughs> obviously. Apollo 17. On December 11th, by my mother's birthday, 1972, the lunar module of the sixth and the final Apollo mission landed on the moon in all. The Apollo program allowed 12 people to walk on the moon. 12 men and no women. Boo. There are female astronauts in the ISS, so at least. We're, 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 we're getting there. During the Apollo 16 mission, astronaut and geologist, geologist Harrison Schmidt became the first scientist to walk on the moon. The mission was considered a great scientific success. I bet it fell over. Geologists, am I right? Geologists? Studies of rocks? I'm only joking if you're a geologist. If you're not a geologist, then I'm not joking. <laughs> Here is Robert Goddard, old Bobby Goddy. Um, by developing the first rocket prototype to reach more than one kilometer in altitude, he became a pioneer of the space age. In 1920, the New York Times ridiculed his work on building a rocket that could propel itself through the vacuum of space, accusing him of not understanding Newton's principle of action-reaction within a vacuum. In 1969, almost 50 years later, after the historic Apollo 11 flight that allowed humans to walk the moon, the New York Times finally apologized for these false accusations. Further investigation and experimentation have confirmed the findings of Isaac Newton in the 17th century and is now definitely established 
that a rocket can function in a vacuum as well as in an atmosphere. The Times regrets the error. Get wrecked. The regardless of our opinions and speculations, it is the experiment itself which makes it possible to validate the relevance of the scientific theory. The beauty of science is that it continues to be refined alongside the passage of time. Smiley face from Mr. Laflam. That is wonderful. Well, here we are. Here we are, the final stage of Space Tow Trip. I have had a fantastic, fantastic time with this game. Um, I no doubt when I get my review up, it's going to be highly rated. Um, it's just been a lot of fun. And you know what? I am going to completely ignore the story. The story was honestly more distracting than anything else to me. I wanted to play the puzzles, but I absolutely love the thing, the information about the scientists and the, you know, the bits about the moon and, and the, you know, the, the lunar landers and stuff and the, and the actual crafts. That has been great. That's all this game needed, to be honest. The actual space tow truck thing, that it was a complete hit. Give or take. I really didn't care for that at all. It meant nothing to me. But I really have appreciated reading through all of this stuff. It's been really lovely just to hear about... Um, hey, this is a new one. Luna 9. Luna 9 was the first spacecraft to make a smooth landing on the moon. February 3rd, 1966, thanks to its retro rockets. Um, no, we did read this one. I remember this picture looking really, like, modern. First landing showed uh, that the moon's soil could support the weight of a spaceship at the... Time. It was not clear whether the large amount of dust on the moon's surface was capable of supporting the weight of a spacecraft. Luna provided eight hours of radio transmission. The first panoramic, panoramic images of the moon's surface. Pretty sure this is a museum replica. But okay, we haven't missed any, any any others, have we? Either way, I think this has been a really good way to do this. I don't think it needed the story at all, to be honest. Maybe some people will, will you know, argue that. Maybe they found it to be engaging and funny. I kind of found it to be just whatever. Um, but the puzzles have been all oh, just fantastic. Fantastic. Um, next is obviously um, part seven, not part seven video, world seven, probably like video number eight or nine. And uh, this is this is probably going to take us a couple of videos to get through. This is going to be the hardest part of the game. And now we've got black holes to consider. Seven craters approach the basics of circular motion using black holes. These 12 craters approach circular movement, taking time into account. And then there's challenge craters as well. So we, we've got still a lot on his, on his plate. But thanks for watching, um, and uh, I guess I'll just see you on the next one. Bye.